Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin and I wanted to go ahead and show you about some new Schoology gradebook enhancements or grading enhancements and they are fantastic and they remind me of a lot of different things that you can do within Google Docs now appear within the grading features inside of Schoology. So the big time stuff here is when a student submits a actual document. As we have our fake student here, Wabashaw Kellogg, they've submitted this PDF, which was a email that I had sent out to teachers here. And now we have the ability to be able to go ahead and use several different gradebook enhancements to be able to give feedback. Um, and the feedback is live and the students can see this feedback on their iPad, uh, obviously uh, on a desktop computer. I've tested it out on even on a phone and it works on all of those devices and you can see the uh, all of the different types of feedback features on all of those devices. Now, a couple different things. You can see right away that a lot of the different features up top here just look different. They've been uh, relocated which is fantastic. One of the first things you'll notice is over here we have something new. It says show page thumbnails. If you have a multi-page document that has been submitted by a student, so for example, a long essay or a paper, you can now click here to be able to toggle through the different pages uh, as far as the thumbnail pages to be able to quickly access those pages, which is fantastic instead of just being able to scroll down. Um, you can also use this feature, which was available before, to be able to toggle to the next pages. Uh, you can zoom in and out. Automatically, it's been defaulted to fit to width. I really like the way that this actually looks here as far as being able to see this clearly. I can also fit to height if I wanted to go ahead and see the entire uh, page. Uh, I could also just make this full screen, this entire thing. It would take off this area over here, the submission activity over here on this side, and it would fit this to full screen. Uh, over here, automatically it's selected to this feature called Pan, um, which basically allows me to, to move the little hand feature comes up and I can move up and down uh, the page itself. And also I'll show you in just a little bit when I use this pen feature, the draw feature, you can use the pan feature to be able to increase or decrease the size of whatever you actually drew. Uh, this is a fantastic feature with select text. It not only just selects the text, but after you've selected the text. And I like this little feature right here where you have this little, uh, uh, this little uh, ability to be able to select multiple tags. You can see it here. I can I just move it around with my mouse. And now automatically it says copy. And the reason why you would want to copy is, again, you could give feedback on a little note uh, on the side and say, hey, you wrote this. Here's what you should have wrote or whatever it might be that you were giving feedback on. So that's the select text. This is the highlight text, which uh, was existed before. So let's say I wanted to highlight Genius Hour. Now it's highlighted there in blue. You'll see automatically this popped up, which is this is my revision notes, kind of like on Google Docs, very similar to that. Something is highlighted here and now it's connected. Mr. Irvin has, has made this comment here. I'm going to go ahead and take away these uh, revision notes off the side and we'll use those in just a bit. Uh, we have this strikeout text. So let's say they wrote this part and they, were, they shouldn't have actually, I used the wrong feature there. Let's say that they wrote this. I could highlight and strike it out. That's interesting there, but I can strike out anything that I would want there that uh, did not belong or whatever it might be. And again, it's coming up here on my revision notes so the students can see what Mr. Irvin has uh, commented or made uh, annotations on as far as on their document. The most powerful feature, I think, is this right here, this add note feature. Because instead of being over here on the submission activity where you used to add comments over here, and the students had to actually press an extra button to see this. Now live on their document, they will see this note. So let's put a note like right here. You see it popped up right here, there's a line to it, and now I can create a note and start typing in whatever I want. Uh, I can say, this paragraph is fantastic, and save that, and now it's become part of the revision history. I've I've looked on the iPad and on an iPhone and checked out and seen on the iOS app basically and seen if these features uh, or uh, see if they appear and they do appear and they are live. Currently they're available right now. I'm going to show you. I'm going to log in as a student as this student, Wabashaw Kellogg, in just a bit to show you. Uh, so you can add notes. You can also use this draw feature which used to be available but now it's so much better. Let me just show you why. I'm going to go ahead and circle my name here. And immediately after I circled my name, something pops up. Three things. I can change the style. I can just delete it or I can just say I'm done. Let's look at style because it's powerful. 
I can change the colors that I want as far as the, the circle that I just made. Let's say I made it red, but I want it to be a little bit thicker, so I just put 3.5. You notice how that just changed that there, and it circled it there. I could also use this little pan feature to be able to go ahead and select it again and be able to stretch it out or to be able to make it bigger, to be able to make sure that I circle the right part of whatever I was trying to go ahead and highlight there which is super powerful, easy to use, and it used to be really tough, especially on a desktop computer like the one I'm using now, to be able to you know, circle things or those kinds of things. So uh, then we have right here, you can still print whatever you have here, and you can still download it um, to be able to download it as far as uh, on your computer to be able to print it off or whatever you were going to be doing. You can also search for a specific word in the text, which is interesting. Let's say I just search for the word passion, and let's see if it actually pops up. Let's click it. Yep, there it is. There's my word passion. has been highlighted and circled up here. Maybe something useful that you're going to be looking for uh, inside of uh, some students' writing to be able to get feedback on. So those are the, some of the new features there uh, that have appeared now inside of Schoology. You let me know if you have any other questions. Send me an email. Adios. Hasta la vista. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to make sure I logged in as the student. I've now logged in as a student. You can see up here, Wabashaw Kellogg. This is the exact same assignment. I'm going to click on here just so you can see it looks exactly the same as it did on the teach or the teacher view. You can see the different comments on the side over here, the different types of revisions that have been made, the circling, the crossing out, the highlighting. All of it's there for the student to go ahead and get the feedback on and be able to go ahead and improve whatever they're uh, writing there. So the feedback is all there. Again, if you have questions, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista.